What up, Drumio? Aaron Edgar here, and you just heard me playing through one of my favorite tool tracks, which is Jambi. Now, side note, before we even jump in, I'm giving you guys a download track that you can play along with that I was just using there, so go get it. Anyway, the point of this lesson is to teach the polyrhythm that was within that groove, not because it was from that groove, but because it's like the most overused polyrhythm on the planet. But what's even cooler is that it's actually pretty easy. So I'm gonna teach it to you in a way that even a beginner can get. Just a couple of simple steps, and then you rock a tool just like that. Step one, we're just gonna play 16th notes on our hi-hat, accenting on the beat. Now this is gonna be in three, four time, so it's gonna go like this. One E and two E and three E and one, two, three. Nothing to it. The polyrhythmic layer isn't here yet. This is just simple 16th note time. Let's try it with the metronome nice and slow, pick it up a little bit, and then we'll add to it. Here's the deal. I said that that was in 3-4. Now this is because the polyrhythm we're gonna create fits into 3-4 evenly. What we're gonna do is we're gonna create four evenly spaced notes across this bar of 3-4. It's actually really easy to do that. We're gonna be playing every third 16th note. Check this out. One E and a two E and a three E and a. That gives us our three beats. But if we go one E and a two E and a three E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a. I know it possibly seems weird with fingers. Let's put it on the drums. Let me just show you without a click what that's gonna sound like. Again, we're accenting our hi hats and quarter notes. 316 is coming on the kick. Check this out. All right, so now that we've got the mechanics worked out, the reason that we're playing 16th notes up here is just to give that kick pattern a solid note to line up on every single part of the beat. But the polyrhythm and the tool track that we were playing with doesn't have those 16th notes. So halfway through playing this with the click, I'm gonna pull the 16th notes out and just play a quarter note on the hi-hats with the kick. You get the bare polyrhythm this way. Four going on in the foot, three going on in the hi-hats. Let's check it out. Here's the cool part. It's literally one more step. All we're doing now is we're adding in a backbeat. Every second quarter note on the snare drum, and we're gonna move our right hand from the hats over to the china. One thing that's real important to playing this effectively is to hit super hard. Let's do it. Now, playing with the click is pretty fun, but it's nowhere near as fun as playing along with the jam beat tracks. Since this is Tools Jambi, make sure you click below the video, download that track, and I'm gonna do exactly that for you right now. Let's go.
one of my favorite polyrhythms to play and you can apply this all over the place. So here's the thing, if you dug this and you're into Tool, head on over to Drumio Edge. We've got a course we just dropped called The Polyrhythms of Tool, where you're gonna learn a ton more of these and every one of the songs has jam tracks that you can play along with. Not only at the album tempo, but slower as well, so you can build these up almost in the same way that you work on them with the metronome. Now, I've got a question for you guys, internet. Where else have you heard this polyrhythm? I've got a bunch of ideas in my head of places that I've heard this and even places that I've used it, but let us know in the comments where your favorite place that you've heard a four over three polyrhythm is. And I'll see you guys inside the next video. Later.